Last week, social media users were awashed with the reports of a missing Ugandan Olympian, Julius Sechitoleko, in Japan. The 20-year-old weightlifter was among the Ugandan delegation, which is in Japan, taking part in the 2020 Tokyo Games. Now the Japanese authorities have initiated a search and repatriation process for the Olympian. So uh, we are trying to find this gentleman uh, and have him uh, not find safely and return back to Uganda to meet his family. State Minister for Foreign Affairs Okelo Oriem says Sech Toliko's conduct is regrettable and calls for punishment to avoid future occurrences. It is a very ch challenging uh, situation when you have young men uh, who we train, prepare to go and represent the country abroad and then they defect and jump ship and, and in those countries and do not participate in the games or they participate in the games and then uh, disappear. This is, the, this is the very reason why uh, the police is to investigate and get at the bottom of, the, of, the, of this issue how he became part and accredited accredited as part of the Ugandan Olympic team. Okero Riem, however, waters down the argument that such acts are as a result to quench for greener pasture. Every day we send girls here to go and look for opportunities in the Middle East. Men here to go and look for work in the Middle East. But they go in using the proper avenue. They apply for a, a passport. We get them visas to the countries they're going to. They are recognized for going there using the legitimate way. But if you use this Korokoro way of going abroad, you should be arrested. During a high-level meeting between Uganda and Japan at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Kampala, it was agreed that the parcel for such toliko takes course. There are individuals in Japan who are illegally staying, who doesn't have a working visa and working illegally. Okay? This issue and what we are facing now is different. These people went to Japan on their own passport, they applied a visa, a tourist visa, and are working. This gentleman is a different case, completely different. Minister Obua, Minister for Sports, is going to Japan tomorrow. We have discussed this matter with him, and I, I think he was going to discuss this matter with, other, uh, with his minister, First, uh, First Lady General Museveni, and also security personnel on how we can go and make sure that there are no further uh, disappearance or defections by our, our members of the Olympic team there. So the minister is going there, the minister will be on the ground working with the chief of missions and will do everything possible to make sure that there is no other further disappearance. It should be recalled that while flagging off the steam at Kololo Independence Grounds, President Yuri Kagutam Seven, among other calls, cautioned the team against indiscipline. Robert Onyango, UBC News.